Hey everyone, it's Lindsay and I wanted to answer a question that I found a lot online. Is an anti-static tool really worth the investment? Now I didn't include a picture on this title card because there are a few different kinds and everybody has their own personal opinion on which one they like the best. So I will leave a few of those linked over on my blog if you want to check those out and really check into the investment of those. Now I'm going to go ahead and just use one piece of cardstock only use the anti-static tool on half of it and then we'll heat and boss and see if it really works. So the first thing it does is it just covers up all those oils that might be on your cardstock from your fingers and that the embossing powder might grab onto. So I really touched this cardstock up. I went over it with my hands, you could see there. I really dirtied it up with my fingers. I gave it one swipe with the embossing bag on only half of it and then I'm going to ink up my square stamp with my Versamark ink and stamp it down onto the paper. Now I don't want to touch it much at this point because I don't want to, I guess, mess with the results of this so-called experiment, but I'm just going to uh, put this down onto a folded piece of paper here and I'm just going to sprinkle on my embossing powder here. Now you might be thinking you're wasting a lot of product, but you can just pick this piece of cardstock up, just give it a few taps on the back. I'm just going to give it three little taps here just to get off extra embossing powder that I can. Set that aside and then I can funnel all this excess powder right back into its container. Now there is no editing on this portion of the video because I didn't want you to think, oh she went in with a tool and cleaned it up. Nope, no editing, no cuts at all. This is just exactly how I did it in my craft room. So I'm going to carefully pick this up as carefully as I can without touching it. I'm attaching my tweezers to this so I don't burn my fingers and then I will simply heat set this and see what the results are that this gives me. Now again only one side of this paper has been treated with the anti-static tool that I have. I have an embossing bag but there are a few different kinds here and also some people simply use a dryer sheet or a bag they've made themselves that they put some baby powder or cornstarch inside. Other people use a cotton ball dipped in cornstarch or baby powder. Now here are the results of this. On the right hand side is the side that I did not use the embossing bag on. On the left, I use my embossing bag. You can see that I have quite a few stray powders on the right hand side where I did not use the embossing bag. There are quite a few on there. On the left, I only have about three. Here's a close-up picture of that. I have the line divided for you and you can see there are a lot more stray powders on the untreated side. So make your own conclusion from that. And decide if an embossing bag is something you want to invest in. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy crafting!